So I've gotten sonic booms before, but they were a lot smaller than this. And then you mix them up into 10 small individual targets. This one, you just mix it up, put it in this big container, and it's ready to go. The one I used, I think it was one of my first YouTube videos actually, it was called Sonic Boom. And you made it into 10 little baggies, and it only worked with Rimfire. This, you need a 223 cartridge or larger to set it off. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing with my AK. All right, I got the tripod a lot closer than I'm going to be to the target, obviously, so I'm going to go about 50 yards more back, and let's see how this thing works. Well, it wasn't as cool as I thought it was, but this will look cool. <laughs> Man, I was expecting a bigger boom, but maybe it's the wind or my hearing protection. I'll see how it sounds on camera, but that was still pretty badass. So I don't know if I didn't mix the catalyst in good enough, although I shook it for a good five minutes, but here's what's left. Looks like it blew a little hole in this tree and the pieces of it are scattered all over the hillside. I got one more of them with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up a little better, see if that makes a difference, and then I'm gonna get the camera closer because it didn't seem to put off much of a shock wave or any shrapnel, so let's go ahead and see how that turns out. All right, Tannerite explosive, take two. So I don't know if 762 by 39 is too big of a round, but I had a bullseye shot on this thing and it still didn't go off. See, right in the bullseye. And look at that, it all spilled out. I don't know if you can see it. It all spilled out out the back. I guess I can try to hit low there and see if something happens. Well, that sucks. I shook that one even longer than the other one, so I thought for sure I was gonna get a bigger explosion and then nothing happened. Well, there was no way that Tannerite was gonna work. There was too many holes in it, so I took one of the big containers, the mixing container, and I sealed that off and put it in there. Salvaged what I could, so we'll see if that does the trick. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our money out of these things feel like I wasted nine dollars or eight dollars or whatever it was loaded Woo! <laughs> it worked well at least we were able to salvage that thing out target and these come with little container that it comes with and they come with 10 little like small little baggies that you would get at like the tobacco shop or whatever and so one of these 10 small baggies was bigger than the whole tannerite package that I got that 
I just showed in the video. So the only thing I can come up with as to why this happened is I was shooting it with a 7.62 round. Now on the box it says use with a 223 caliber or higher to get the explosion to happen it needs that certain amount of force and feet per second. So I'm thinking maybe this created a larger hole allowing less of a of an explosion to happen than if this smaller 22 caliber size AR-15 round would cause a smaller hole allowing less pressure to come out and creating a bigger explosion so I'm gonna buy another one and shoot it with my AR and see how it turns out because we shot it with the AK in this video obviously so now let me zoom in here get this off of my tripod so that that is what I'm about to show you that I shot with my 22 and you get 10 of those for look at that $25 now one of those is bigger than the one big package for $8.99 or $7.99 it was either $8 or $9 and so this here is the website of my local gun store that I frequent where I got my Ruger GP100 Armageddon Arms just wanted to give them a quick shout out that's where I got my Tannerite and so let's go ahead and take a look at that it's $7.95 and you get half a pound of Tannerite with the kill shot target bullseye and so that's what I shot off in the video two times with the second one not working due to I'm assuming too big of a hole from the 762 by 39 millimeter round causing all that powder to leak out and luckily I was able to repackage it in the mixing container that it comes with it comes with two containers one big one that you mix it up in and then a small one that you pour the mixture in so that way it's compressed more and creates a bigger explosion so I just wanted to show both of those online what they look like and now I will show you the sonic boom that I just showed you earlier going off which was one of my very first YouTube videos so I apologize for the crappy quality Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. And have yourselves a good rest of your week. Thank you. Have a good night.